We got a lot of stuff to cover today, guys. There's a review of Game Boy's Double Dragon, a preview of Battle Tank for NES, the Power Team, a whole bunch of game tips, so let's get right to it. Let's start with a video power review. Today, we'll put the spotlight on Double Dragon. Sound like a familiar title? Well, this is a totally new version of Double Dragon for Game Boy. You'll recognize a lot of the characters, like the star, Billy Lee, his girlfriend, Marion, the no-good evil shadow boss, and those nasty buttheads, the Black Warriors. The object is to work your way from the inner city wasteland all the way out to the woods where the shadow boss has his headquarters. That's where you'll have to take on the boss man himself. A big difference between the NES Double Dragon and this version is that on Game Boy, you start out with full power. That way, you can use all nine different attack modes right from the start. Punches, kicks, uppercuts, over-the-shoulder throws. You'll get a workout before you even start to get to the Shadow Boss. Double Dragon even lets you use the Game Link to hook up with a friend or enemy and go eyeball to eyeball in a fight. The sound effects and music are pretty cool. They make the game more exciting to play. I like the graphics. They're really interesting to look at. Graphics? But the whole game is wall-to-wall -wall music and sound. But the graphics really make the game come alive. The music! Graphics! Music! Graphics! Music! music. music. Ah. Coming soon is Battle Tank. The first tank game for your NES that puts you right inside the tank. You actually get complete control over your tank's movements, so it feels like you're actually jamming with a real tank. Battle Tank throws lots of different obstacles in your way. Check it out! Okay, my friends, it's time for tips and secrets. This time from Game Players Magazine. I'm gonna throw a whole bunch of quick ones on you. Are you ready? The game, Ghouls and Ghosts for the Sega system. Level two is where we pick it up. The guy we want to destroy is that hot shot, the fiery boss. Use your daggers and go after him with everything you've got. Stay right in the middle so when he charges, you can duck him and counterattack. When he lands, keep shooting. Keep shooting, but watch his fireballs. Don't let him burn you up. Next tip, Super C for NES. This one is a blast that'll help you knock out the laser cannon. Level four, when you face off against the super laser cannon, you must take out the laser beams in the middle first. Once that's done, you can move around and fire at the other beams. That's the trick. Take out the middle beams and attack. Third tip, Mega Man 2 for NES. Let's see how easy it is to blow away the dragon in Dr. Wily's castle. You might think this dragon is unstoppable, but he's got a real melon head. So go after his head with Quick Man's weapon. Keep at it till you turn the dragon into melon soup. Last tip of the day, Michael Jackson's Moonwalker for Genesis. Catch every falling star you can, and you'll be turned into a very powerful robot. It's, it's a, a video, video power, power preview. Free. Dick Tracy for the NES. It's not just a shooting game, it's like being in the movie. If you like the movie, chances are you'll like the game. Ghostbusters for Genesis. Now it's your turn to attack the slime and save the city of New York. This one's already been a hit on computers and other game systems worldwide. So this version could be hot. That's just a couple. It's gonna be a good time for us gamers, and I'm gonna be here to make sure you've got the video power edge, including tomorrow when we do a full-blown review of Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, along with some tips for Golden Axe and Rad Racer 2. That's video power. Game over.